there, welcome back to another Eye Care for Your Brain. We are doing top 10 brain health secrets and we are on number nine. Number nine falls under this idea of cognitive reserve, which is so very important. So number nine, I'm telling you, make deposits in your brain bank every day. As we get older, there's a very simple way to think about brain healthy activities, and it is engagement versus passivity, being active versus receptive, okay? So what I mean by that is doing more things where you're actually engaged and there's a real-time need to change your behavior and respond. It's very, very easy to get sucked into the couch. There's a lot of super interesting things on Netflix and on television and in books, but it does still fall under a bit of a passive activity. So what we really want you to think about as you get older, especially as you move out of the workforce, when we're working a lot of times, that is a ton of cognitive stimulation. You have deadlines, you have people, you've got birthdays, you've got projects. That is usually plenty to be making deposits into your cognitive reserve. The concern becomes a little bit more after retirement, which is what are you doing with your time, right? So this is where hobbies really matter. So there's some very powerful literature suggesting that the more complex your leisure activities, the more reduction in brain aging that you're going to see. So one of the best things that you can do is actually pick up something that was meaningful to you in the past that you have some level of familiarity or expertise with. But what I want you to do is think about how you can take it to the next level. So a lot of what Cognitive Reserve talks about is building stronger brain networks that as we age will either help us compensate for cognitive impairment or on a very organic physiological level, help us resist the impact of the diseases that cause the state of dementia, okay? So anything that we can do that builds up brain networks and makes kind of the scaffolding of the brain stronger is advised. So one of the best things you can do is think about how was my brain built from the beginning of my life and actually go back through every decade of your life and think about what was I doing? What did I like? What were my hobbies? And get back into it. So what we know about cognitive reserve is there's really three principles and you can apply this to anything. This can be getting back into piano playing. This can be picking up golf again. This can be um, talk, doing a book club. This can, anything that requires you to do it more often, make it more difficult, and make it more unique over time. So really what you're trying to do is earn expertise, okay? So we want you to be in what I kind of call the sweet spot of mental effort. So if something's too easy, you're not gonna get the brain benefits. And if it's too hard, you're not gonna wanna go back to it. So I want you to think about, you can almost feel oh, when, how are these brain cells growing and the dendrites are connecting? It's a feeling of moderate frustration, but you can see when you do it repetitively that you are getting somewhere that you're actually improving. So a lot of people I find come to me and are very proud that they do crossword puzzles, they do you know regular puzzles, and it's certainly better than nothing, but what I advise them is you don't wanna keep the difficulty level static. You always wanna be trying to push yourself because that's really where the brain networks find their strength, and that is the essence of cognitive reserve. So I would love for you to comment on the bottom of this lecture and tell me what do you think is really doing it for you in terms of hobbies, leisure activities that you have found are hitting this sweet spot of cognitive challenge? Let me know, let the other people know. We are a community here, all trying to learn from each other. So whatever you got going on, I bet somebody else would be interested to know how you do it, how do you keep yourself motivated? So what we got coming up is number 10. I hope you keep watching, bye-bye. Mm-hmm.